Hi there, this is Vanessa DuBerlay from Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income and do it guilt free. What we're going to talk about today is how you can do affiliate marketing with YouTube. This is, um, we're going to go through some of the steps that you need to know to start using YouTube for your affiliate marketing program. The first thing that you need is equipment. Obviously, um, you need a computer um, so that you can record, um, have a place to um, use for your platform. And with that, you just need to get a microphone, uh, possibly a backdrop, you don't have to have a backdrop, but a lot of people get them. Um, microphone, I use Yeti. Um, it seems to work really well. And then you need uh, some kind of a camera. Um, you can start out with the building camera on your computer, or you can buy um, what they call is the um, Web Pro. After you have all your equipment set up, and, and you can get set up with equipment, I'm going to say for less than $150. Um, you could get everything that you need and have good quality, quality equipment that is good enough. Let's put it that way. All right. Then you're getting ready to do your business. So you have to pick a niche. There's three different niches that are out there um, in sales and it's wealth, health, and relationships. So you need to choose which niche you want to go into. Uh, a lot of people pick health um, because a lot of people are working out, um, trying to lose weight, get in shape and things like that. The nice thing about that is yes a lot of people are looking for it and we all need it but then you need to narrow that down. Are you doing health for women? for men, for adults, for children? Uh, are you looking at a certain age group? Are you then looking at lifting weights, doing yoga? Do you see how I keep narrowing that down to a smaller target? The more refined you have your target, the easier it will be to sell because you can't sell, if you try to sell to everyone, you'll end up selling to no one. All right, so we have our um, niche, now within our niche, we need to find products. And a lot of people are like, well, where do I find affiliate products? And I'm going to give you some different places that you can look. Um, one of the places at ways that you can find places is you can just type in best affiliate marketing programs in the wealth space. And if you notice, um, just scroll down and there's all kinds of different places where you can find affiliate programs. So you just have to go in and start searching. I would look for things that I personally would use myself. If it's something that you're not sure about, there's nothing wrong with buying it and trying it yourself. If you're a product of your product that you're actually using it, you're going to be a better salesman for it because you're going to say, I really like this product. It really works. I've been using it and you've got more credibility. Can you use all of them? Obviously not, but do your best to use your products. Um, another, if we go into the wealth space, you can type in best marketing programs in the wealth space or there i did the wealth first i'm sorry now it's the health space um, but if you just go down you can see that there's all kinds of different places that you can find affiliate marketing programs and once you start doing it it just seems like it, you'll naturally start finding places so let's go back to the health uh, wealth that's where we were in the first place sorry about that um, but you can find different levels of wealth because you're gonna have what they call high ticket items. They might sell for $1,000. And then you'll have your low ticket items that might sell for under 100 and then the mid range. You always wanna have a good balance of all of them. Not everybody can spend $1,000 on a course where a lot of people would spend 27. So you need to really decide if you want quantity or just quality and everybody does it differently. So it's up to you. You also want to look for products that have a recurring commission. So, um, products that are like tools that people use for their business. Um, one would be click funnels. Click funnels is a platform. It's a tool where people create funnels, uh, landing pages where they, um, provide free products for people and collect emails. It's a funnel. Uh, kind of like a website, but better. Um, and there's a recurring commission. So when people sign up, um, they pay out 40%. So you get 40% of that commission month after month. So you want as many of those as you can, as you're trying to promote other products. You can also go to what we call brokers. And those are places like JV Zoo. And so this is a place that you go and they have products on their, in their, um, in their website where you can go in and look for them and you can find them. Are they, um, they have mostly digital products at JV Zoo, but there's another place called Clickbanks and Clickbanks has a lot of products in there. So you can go find your health products in there. Um, there's also another place called warrior plus. So different brokers will um, have a platform where you can go in as an affiliate and find products. And you can also 
go in as a vendor. So if you try to go down the course of maybe wanting to create courses and selling them, then you want to find affiliates to sell your product. So it works both ways. Many people will do both. They'll, they'll create courses and they'll be an affiliate for other products. So you can do both. Lots of ways to make money. And then you want to be sure, like I said, to mostly promote things that you have used, because if you're using it and you're sharing it, people were going to find more credibility in what you're saying because you're actually using it. So that's the third thing. Next, we're going to do a keyword search because what you need to do is find out what are people searching for. Basically, affiliate marketing is finding out what people are asking, what problems do they have, and you solve them. It's that simple. But you need to know what those problems are and how do you know that. One of the ways is doing a keyword search, and this is a tool called um, keywordtool.io. It is a paid subscription. This one right here is just the um, basic review on the front, but I typed in passive income and it tells you what are people looking for. And there's been, this has been searched like over 2000 times. And if you look at the trend, the trend is high. Now look at the one under it, passive income online. It kind of went up and then down. So you're seeing the trend passive, um, passive income ideas for 2019 is on the rise. Uh, passive income apps did a spike and then it went back down. So you want to kind of watch uh, the trend um, how much competition is there for it and how many people are searching for it. And that is the phrase that you're going to use in your video. That's what you create your video. So if I decided to do passive income for 2019, that's the name of my video. And I'm going to use that keyword search in my video. I'm going to optimize it. And I'll tell you how to do that in just a moment. I want to give you another place that you can go. Um, I have a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. It's right up here. See that little K? And every time I type something in, I automatically get this over here to the, the right. I just typed in workouts. And here are some phrases that are popular. They even have them highlighted. Workout plans for women at home. A lot of women want a plan that they can do at home. Body toning exercises for females. But see how it's narrowed down? And now I know a lot of women are looking for that. Um, full body workouts, sure, 3,600. I might want to use these two, though because not quite as many people are looking and I might have a bigger chance of having my YouTube video being shown. And again, I could do a video on five different phrases and just make them different, you know, put a different tweak them, twist in them, tweak them differently. And I've got all my videos. All right. So now I mentioned optimizing it. So what do we do next? We're going to make our video around that keyword. So if my keyword was um, workout plans for women at home, that would be the title of my video. And then right away, my description, that's the first sentence. It will say the exact same thing. And then I want to make the exact same thing come up in my tags. You have tags that are in there, different tags that people might search for. So they give you a chance um, to find more key phrases, key words that people might be searching for that are related and you put them in your tags. You get up to 500 characters in your tags when you're making a YouTube video. So that's how you optimize it. That's how you get people to search and then they find your video. You're ranking your video. You want it to be the on that first page when people search for workout plans for women, you want your video to pop right up there on that first page, preferably the first one, but I'd be happy to be on the first page. And then a lot of people say, well, how long should I make my video? Honestly, I would make my video as long as it needs to be. So if you have a lot to say and your video is 30, 35 minutes, then that's how long it needs to be. I have made videos two minutes. It might be how to find something. Those are what I call my quick videos, um, how to find something real quick or how to fix something. Um, but if I'm doing a video like this, they typically go 10, 15 minutes. Um, so really it depends on what you have to say. I have seen people make two hour long videos. They might do a massive training and they have a lot of people watch it because it's great content. It's got a lot of value and people will stick around and watch it if it's worth it. Um, after that, um, people say, well, how, how do I put my affiliate link in there? How do I use my YouTube video? That's exactly what you do. You take your, your, um, affiliate marketing link and you put it down in the description below. Um, actually I have a link down there for you. Um, five days, training for free on how to launch your affiliate marketing business. 
absolutely free. You just hit that link and it goes to a free training. Another way that you can do it is by adding cards in your um, YouTube videos. A lot of times, if you notice when people have a YouTube video right in the middle, it'll have a little card, almost like a quick commercial that pops up and it might say, um, go to my website. And in the website then, they may tell you that they want you to find something in there. So those are ways that you can send people to your affiliate links. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel. I make a video every single day. And definitely hit the link um, so you can get the five-day free training for how Affiliate Marketing Mastery five-day launch.